doing. But first, you are watching the champion of offset. That would be me, Shu Tipna Haruha. So what I'm gonna do, what you see up here, I wrote all this down uh, from off the Bible. And I need to say this. I wrote this from off, now this is the Bible. The book of Ephesians 3.19, all right? This is from the pyramid text. The book of Utterance 364, verse 614. Now, this is from ancient Kemet. I'm gonna show you that in the Bible of the book of Ephesians, it copies and it is always working as, as almost and or is word for word with the pyramid text of ancient Kemet. All right. So well, let's read the book of Ephesians, the Bible, 319. Before I go any further, now mind you, I did not need to let you know you see this. I do have your Bible. And it's on the book of Ephesians 314, verse 19. I just want to be there. I, want, I just want to be very clear. So y'all don't think that I ain't reading that. Oh, he lying. He ain't really reading out the Bible. Y'all know what Ephesians 3.19 says. All right. The book of Ephesians 3.19. And to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. All right. The fullness that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now, why is it in the pyramid text long before this Bible even thought of, let's say two or three thousand years before this was even established? Let's read the pyramid text of ancient Kemet, the book of Utterance 364, verse 614. Haru has completely filled thee with his eye. In this, its name of fullness of God. Now, I said I say at the end. That's just me. I say. But I say it again. Haru has completely filled thee with his eye. In this, its name of fullness of God. In the book of Ephesians 3.19, a little further down, it says that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. That, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now, this is why I keep trying to tell a lot of you Christians, a lot of you damn Hebrews, I've been trying to tell y'all that everything that's come out your Bible is plagiarized from ancient Kemet. All they did, they just took what was written and they put it in a book. A book, toilet paper, something you can use to wipe your ass with. So, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Y'all been trying to talk about this Moses shit. Moses, listen. The character of Moses from out this Bible is not recorded in ancient Kemet. He's not. Now, I said that I'm going to do a video uh, um, like next week when I get everything because I got to get my printer run rolling because I'm going to print out everything. So I said next week I want to expose Moses and show you that Moses is really Osar set. And it was a brother named Michael who had sent me that link and I had the throw and I studied through that and I found out that who Osar Seth is. See, I already knew that the, the character Moses of the Bible didn't exist, but I did not know that Osar Seth was Moses. He was a renegade, a tyrant. I always knew that Moses was a tyrant from this Bible because even though he don't exist, but this is what I'm trying to tell you that in ancient Kemet, the character Moses, as though he was adopted by the pharaohs and all that shit, that shit is nowhere recorded in ancient Kemet. That is a lie. That is a lie, okay? Now, ancient Kemet does not be, does not record any of this shit. It has never been recorded. But Osar Seth, who once was Moses, was the renegade, and he was a tyrant who lined himself with the Hyksos. You got to understand, even the ancient Kemet had the Hyksos as slaves. Not only them, a lot of them who try to come and overtake their kingdom. A lot of the modern-day uh, um, uh, Kemet, Ancient Kemet people that later came are hybrids and or um or they just uh what's that word 
when I say hybrids, I am talking about they are like fake ass wannabe. You know what I mean? That's all it is. So if like if a uh, uh, if a white man, for example, Alexander the Great, he wanted to become the child of Amen, but he threatened the priest and a, and a priest of command priest said, "You can't become a uh, uh, we can't make you that. We can't give you can't become a king of a king here." You can't, I can't make you the child of Amun or uh, Amun. And he pulled out his sword blade to threaten to kill him. And you know what he did? And he, guess what Guess what? Alexander the Great did? Well, Alexander the Snake. He wanted to become a child of Amun. This is why even in, uh, this is why in the Western world, they went and they stole 45,000, removed 45,000 artifacts of ancient Kemet. That's a fact, but that's another story of another time. However, like I said, these the later ancient I, when I say ancient Kemet, I am talking about ancient time. I'm not talking about prior. I'm not talking about prior now or a thousand years. I'm not talking about that because we all because I already I'm I'm totally aware that. Even a thousand years ago, those that was in ancient Kemet weren't the real Kemetic uh, people. That's a fact. But anyway, but like I said, here from the Bible right here, from your Bible, Christian people, you Hebrews, the book of Ephesians 3.19, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. In the pyramid text, yes, Haru has completely filled thee with his eye, and this is name of fullness of God. In the book of uh, in the book of utterance, three sixty four verse six fourteen, and that is out of the pyramid text. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all be thinking that I be just talking. No, I don't. I just don't be talking. No, I'm serious. When I say I study the pyramid text, I study it. Even the coffin text, even the book of the day. It is so crazy that even the Christian. Religion is oh look the Dead Sea Scrolls a written words from out the Bible a written future secret uh books from out the Bible all that shit copied off the Book of the Dead of ancient Kemet now they came up Christian God the Dead Sea Scroll copied off the Book of the Dead of ancient Kemet you know what I mean all that stuff that you see about these people are all fabricated the Bible is plagiarized Moses never exists the character Moses written in the Bible didn't exist. Of course, they said that Moses was raised by the Egyptians. That's a damn lie. That's not even recorded in ancient Kemet. But the man Moses, Osar Seth, did exist, and he is the real Moses that y'all reading about from out your Bible. But the difference is he was a tyrant, and he lined himself with the Hyksos, who tried to overthrow ancient Kemet. That's what they did. And, and you know what I mean? Ancient Kemet came back and retook in their kingdom from these damn parasites, and the Hyksos are the so-called Hebrew Israelites. The Hebrew Israelites always say that, listen, the Egyptians had us as slaves. If the Egyptians had you as slave, why ancient Kemet never recorded it? Because when I dream about Offset, she said, if if we had enslaved them, they would have been recorded. This is what Offset said to me in a dream. After she was walking me through the temple, seeing the images of ancient Kemet being tampered with and then their features being manipulated. Removing the nose and making them like white. They were tampered with all the ancient Kemetic statues, all their ancient deeds, everything. They was tampered with it when Offset was making when Offset was walking me through the temple. I seen everything. You'd be surprised what Offset showed me. But but then when she showed me, I seen the Hyksos as slaves. I seen a lot of slaves. And she said they were casualties of war. Now, another thing, and, sh and that's how I knew that you Hebrews, that y'all love Moses so much, y'all carry his law. Osar Seth came up with his own law when he lined himself with the Hyksos. You, Hicks you Hebrew Israelites are the Hyksos. Now, with that being said, so I want y'all to explain this. Christian religion. I want all you bishops. Yeah, you two T.D. Jakes. I heard T.D. Jakes do a jab at the conscious spiritual people and all that. Uh, people that have a spiritual, conscious community, and all that. 
doing the jam and trying to be telling the Saints, you got to get bold out there because they're getting more bolder than us. Who, so who's they, T.D. Jakes? Until you explain this. Trust me, fat boy. You on that 50C3 paycheck. Y'all gets that. So therefore, y'all is paid to speak a certain way. And you're not allowed to teach certain things. The Bible is nothing but a fabric, nothing but plagiarized bullshit. But with this being said, and to know that the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that he might be filled with all the fullness of God. Explain why is that is identical to the pyramid text, the book of utterance, 364, verse 614. Haru has completely filled thee with his eye. And this is name of fullness of God. I don't need to go any further. There is more. I'm going to show you that the scepter that y'all talking about what Jesus supposedly had in his hand is also in our servant's hand, whom y'all call Osiris. So, even I'm going to show you that even the way the story that Mary had to run and hide, because she ran from um, her, um, uh, Herod, because Herod was threatening that the baby Jesus, the king, would come to overtake his throne. Seth from ancient Kemet felt the same way. He was the son um, of, um, he felt the same way about Haru because Haru was the son of Osir, whom y'all call Osiris. And this is a lot of fabrication and plagiarizing from the Bible that will go on. The Adam and Eve story is it's fabricated from Shu and Tipna. It's a copy of Shu and Tipna. Yes, my name, the twin deities. Um, Another one, Cain and Abel. Cain's killing his brother Abel. That came from Seth killing his brother Osir, Osiris. He chopped him up in 40 pieces and scattered his body all over the, um, at that time, all over the, uh, the world of that time, of that era. They let the brother slay the brother, shed blood of his own brother. Cain and Abel, that came from um, Seth and Osiris. Come on, man. And like I said, and you Christians, Every time y'all say amen, you say amen. Did you know that? Yeah. Amen, Ron? Yeah, don't, yeah, that's right. All that. When you say amen, uh, amen or amen, all that came from ancient Kemet too. So with that being said, I'm going to uh, touch on, break down on everything. I just exposed this right here. Now I'm going to expose another thing. I want to expose the resurrection of supposedly Jesus. That he supposedly died on the third day. That's copied because Osiris did have the said that story came from Osiris. He died and then he was resurrected and he had overcome death and he said he snatched the keys of death. It's so ironic that Jesus did the same exact thing. But you Christians believe that. What you Christians need to do is build find every bodies that y'all supposedly had. That all your patriarchs. How about you go up on the mountain and break down the ark? Come off that oh, Noah's ark. Bring that down. We all know that's a lie too. But with that being said, please explain these two. I can explain this, but here it is. Your Bible is plagiarized. It came from the pyramid text of the Book of Utterance. And I'd like to say, I say to the cosmos, I say to the universe, I say to our ancient ancestors, I say to all of our ancestors. I say to Oset, Nut, Gab, uh, Ma'at. Yes, I want to also do a video of the 42 divine principles of the scales of Ma'at. Whereas the Ten Commandments copy that too. And I'm done.